The ice here at the Sioux Locks has been sticking around since early December. You know, I've been here for 21 years, and this is the worst I can remember it this soon. In fact, it's the earliest the ice has formed since the 1930s. And over the course of the last month, the temperatures keep dropping, and the ice continues to be a problem for shipping traffic. That's why the Coast Guard has been out in full force. Four out of the 11 Great Lakes cutters are here on the St. Mary's River. As the cutters and the Lakers drive through the ice, they churn it into smaller pieces, which refreezes and is called brash. The Coast Guard says in some areas along the river, ice chunks have clumped together, creating icebergs that are 10 feet deep. That blocks up and it's, it's caught some freighters in the ice down there, which slows traffic all the way up to here. A thousand foot freighters are waiting until a large enough path is cleared. And for other ships making the trip, they might experience a few roadblocks when trying to get through the locks. So when we get enough ice into the lock and stuff, we have to, we have to either flush so the, the ice through or, as I said, we'll send our tugs in to scrape ice off the walls and stuff to allow freighters to go through. Both the Sioux Locks and the Coast Guard are doing their best to keep this multi-billion dollar shipping industry moving. It's caused some delays, but, but we have not had uh, any what we would call a, a waterway closure uh, at this point. So things have been slowed, but they are moving.